live in an age of relativism, a belief system based on the absolute certainty that there are no absolute certainties. We hypocritically applaud men for seeking the truth, but call for the public execution of any man who believes he has found it. We live in a self-imposed dark age. Why? The reason for this is clear. Natural man is a fallen creature, he is morally corrupt, and he is hell-bent on autonomy or self-government. He hates God because God is righteous, and he hates God's laws because they censor him and restrict his evil. He hates the truth because it exposes him for what he is and troubles what is left of his conscience. Therefore, fallen man seeks to push the truth, especially the truth about God, as far from him as he can possibly remove it. He will go to any extent to suppress the truth, even to the point of pretending that there is no such thing as truth, or that if it does exist, it cannot be known or have any bearing on our lives. Realize this about the gospel. It is never a case of a hiding God, but of hiding man. The problem is never the intellect, but the will. I do not believe that the Bible gives any room for atheism. There are liars and God-haters who push the truth out of their minds, but there are no such thing as atheists. For although they knew him, like a man who hides his head in the sand to avoid a charging rhino, modern man denies the truth of a righteous God and moral absolutes in hopes of quieting his conscience and putting out of his mind the judgment that he knows must come. Now, the Christian gospel is a scandal to the man involved in relativism and his culture because he, the Christian gospel does the one thing that man most hopes to avoid. It awakens him from his self-imposed slumber to the reality of his fallenness and rebellion and calls him to reject autonomy, self-government, and submit to God through repentance and faith in Jesus Christ.